NRG HN002 was a randomized phase two trial that was run by Energy Oncology, a cooperative group in the United States. We basically wanted to investigate patients who we consider to be in the low risk category of HPV associated oropharyngeal carcinoma. These were patients who were P16 positive with no or low smoking history and who had up to stage T3 and 2B disease by AJCC 7th edition staging. We randomized them into two different arms, which were both aimed at identifying a de-intensification regimen that could provide a platform to go forward into a larger scale standard setting trial. And the two arms in this randomized phase two were 60 gray of radiation therapy and conventional fractionation delivered with weekly cisplatin at 40 milligrams per meter squared versus the same radiation 60 gray, but delivered in a moderately accelerated uh, radi uh, moderately accelerated schedule over five weeks. And we had a pre-specified translational research project as part of this study. Uh, so there were pre-specified hypotheses uh, for three different time points of blood collection. We collected blood at uh, the baseline prior to treatment at two, uh, after two weeks of the uh, protocol specified treatment and then at two to, four, two to four weeks after the end of all of the treatment. And so this translational study was based on those pre-specified hypotheses that were part of HN002's original design. I think you wanted to know about the outcomes of the parent study. The, the outcomes of NRG HN002 were that the uh, chemotherapy containing arm uh, met a pre-specified uh, PFS boundary and was within the confidence interval where we were sure that that PFS was um, matching up to our, our, our pre-specified expectation. And so that is the arm that actually ended up uh, going forward into what is the current iteration of our de-intensification trial, trials, which is uh, NRG HN005. Um, from that arm, we have developed a, a new uh, randomized phase 2-3 that is currently running now. The other endpoint to discuss was the co-primary endpoint of swallowing outcome. In the HPV-associated oropharyngeal cancer population, quality of life is important. And so um, as part of 002, we had a co-primary endpoint, which was based on the MDADI, which is a patient reporting swallowing index. And both arms actually met the one-year MDADI acceptability boundary. Um, so it was the PFS difference um, in meeting that boundary that decided that the chemo radiation arm would be the one to go forward.